What is going on world? What's up everyone? It's Zero here. Today I'm bringing you guys a brand new StarCraft 2 video. This one is between two players on the WCS Pro Circuit. Spawning here in the top left hand corner of Acid Plant Ellie playing with the red Zerg pieces. She's a fan favorite and a very, very well known StarCraft 2 player. Her name is Scarlet. And her opponent spawning in the bottom right hand corner playing with the Protoss pieces. Not quite as well known as his opponent, but still nonetheless a very good Protoss player on the WCS Pro Circuit. His name is Shadow. So guys and girls, I am extremely excited about this uh, game in particular. And it really this series as a whole between Scarlet and Shadow. Because these um, were actually... Uh, the a series on the uh, WCS Pro Circuit that was played um, at the uh, at the WCS in Montreal, and this was round one of the bracket play. So this should be really exciting to to you know of course get a uh, a good feel here for uh, for both of our players. Let's talk about it a little bit. Looks like Scarlet went ahead and got the gas into the uh, spawning pool and now moving into uh, the natural base hatchery. Whereas on the opposite side, Shadow has decided to go ahead and get a forge up. Um, uh, it, with the Cybernetics course coming up as well, but this should be quite interesting. Pylon's coming up, Scarlet sniffs this out. I'm wondering if this is gonna, if, if Shadow is going to try to contain his opponent. Um, Another probe is now coming out here, so I'm assuming that there might be a couple of photon cannons. The question is, is, is this really going to work here? Uh, it's it's kind of going gonna to be hard to really tell here. Looks like uh, there is going to be a Roach Warrant coming up. A couple, uh, One queen is going to be on that production tab as well. Two cannons are on that uh, production tab here for Shadow. And really, what this is going to do, we got a robotics facility coming up. This is going to be a... Um, essentially a possibility of an all-in here for Shadow in the very earlier stages of this game here. A couple of those probes are, are, are coming over. you got a couple of photon cannons as well as a shield battery in that robotics facility coming up here. So it looks like this is going to be a very strong uh, attempted push here by our Protoss player Shadow. And I'm wondering how Scarlet is going to kind of... Uh, how she's going to play this, especially when these photon cannons start to come up here. You've got to be very, very careful. More of the shield batteries are coming up. Question is, is what is Scarlet going to do about this uh, very early on? There are a couple of Zerglings that made their way across the map here, but I don't think they're going to be able to do much damage, uh, just the two of them. does look like there's going to be a couple of Ravagers as well as Roaches that are coming out onto the map here. The question, though, lies is that now there's going to be Immortals coming out, and this is going to be very scary if if Scarlet is not able to contain this relatively quickly. does look like more and more Ravagers are going to be popping out here. Going to have some range of one of those shield batteries, but once the Immortal's out, and there is one that is out now, got to be careful, though. You don't want to lose this Immortal for practically free. The Immortal's going to be able to take a lot of... Of, uh, of, of that damage here. Going pretty far on to creep though. Uh, that's a little bit scary. More and more shield batteries going to be coming up here. Another mortal is going to be joining the fight. Really containing Scarlet at least at this point. But I'm wondering as more and more of these roaches come up here. Are they going to be able to get uh, the kill on a couple of these immortals? More and more immortals are coming out. There is now going to be also a war prism that is coming into play as well. So the question is, is now that they got free range of this natural hatchery of Scarlet, what is Scarlet going to do here to stop this? Or can she really do anything? She can use the diffuses, but I don't know if she's going to do it. She's probably going to save it for some of these uh, for some of these roaches and ravagers. And it does look like they are going to start pushing, but I, I, I don't know. At this point, one hatchery is now down. There's going to be more and more roaches that are coming up here. And that war prism is going to start pick up microwing a lot. Uh, a couple of these uh, immortals here. Another immortal is going to be joining the fight. Now you got an adept joining the fight as well. This could be very scary. The micro has to be absolutely on point here. You do not want to lose any of these uh, any of these immortals, the adept is starting to kind of uh, run away as well now, but another immortal is starting to join uh, this fight here. 
The longer this game goes, I'm wondering if uh, Scarlet is going to be able to hold on, though. These Immortals are going to be taking so much damage, but they are just absolutely doing so much work against those Ravagers, and GG is called, and Shadow takes game number one against his opponent, Scarlet. I hope you guys did enjoy this game between Shadow and Scarlet, and if you guys did, leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, stay positive, and as always, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.